Hello there, Gemini. Thank you for stopping by for your weekly tarot forecast for the week of May 4th through the 10th. We are using the Russian Tarot of St. Petersburg once again. And what you have coming up on Monday, Gemini, is you have the Nine of Cups in reverse. Nine of Cups in reverse just means... Hmm. Okay, so Gemini, what I'm feeling for you is on Monday, you're going to be having some ups and some downs in your moods. Kind of some, I won't really say mood swings because it seems like there are some very real things going on in your life that have you kind of going on these ups and these downs. It's like you get good news and then you get not so good news. You get good news and then you get not so good news. So on Monday, um, I'm feeling like emotionally you're going to be kind of all over the place, um, but there is... Uh, it feels like there's a couple of pieces of good news coming in for you on Monday, Gemini. So mood swings, kind of watch out for those. Um, you know, if you have those typically and you kind of know how to deal with those, you may want to just be kind of prepared that, okay, well, this is what I'm going to deal with on Monday. Tuesday, Gemini, what we have coming up is we have the Ace of Clubs in reverse. And the Ace of Clubs in Reverse just means that you're going to be passing along inspiration to other people. Now, there's a couple of ways that we pass along inspiration to other people. Wow, and for some of you, I'm hearing that this is going to be through the written word, as in um, books, periodicals, blogs, things that go out to the masses. You're going to be passing along some inspiration on Tuesday for some of you, Gemini. Um, the, what I was actually getting ready to say is there's a couple of ways to pass along inspiration before that one came into my mind, so I guess there's three. Um, but other ways are by example and also by communication. So maybe sending out an email to somebody or um, a text message or talking to somebody on the phone or even in person. Words can give inspiration to those people around us. So it may be that you're passing along inspiration through the words that you're saying on Tuesday and then the other way is like I said through example. Um, in the example situation when you're passing along inspiration a lot of times you don't realize you're doing it. You're just living your life the way you normally live your life and other people are watching and going wow I wish I could handle that half as good as he did or half as good as she did and so they become inspired to start putting into practice some of the things that you do so that they can start handling some similar situations um, in a more calm, more sane fashion, more like what you do. Typically um, on those we don't know that we're inspiring somebody when we do something like that until they tell us later on. I do feel like you're going to be hearing about how you've inspired some of the people around you. If not on Tuesday itself, then on Wednesday or Thursday they're going to be coming to you and telling you about this. So you may not know right away about um, the inspiration that you were being. Now on Wednesday we have a really good card coming up. This is the Three of Swords, but it's in reverse. For me, the Three of Swords in reverse is talking about emotional healing. So there was some kind of something that was just like, like a dagger in your heart. It was an injury to the heart. And what's going on on Wednesday is there's some kind of healing coming in for that. So somebody is, is maybe you're having a conversation with somebody that had hurt your heart, or maybe you're having a conversation with somebody else that brings in some healing words. Either way, some healing comes in from that. The other thing is you can do your own emotional healing or your own spiritual healing that leads to emotional healing. So there's a couple of different ways that that could happen for you, Gemini, but I do see some healing coming in for some heart injuries on Wednesday. And by the way, for most of you, I do feel like this is emotional way more than actually physical. Although um, healing for heart injuries could be very literally physical for some of you as well, but I, I'm picking up that that's really the minority, maybe like 3% or something. Thursday, what we have showing up for you, Gemini, is we have the Nine of Clubs in Reverse. And the nine of clubs in reverse just means that on Thursday you're trying to, you have a project that you've been working on for a while. It's more of a long-term thing. But that project has lived its life and it has fulfilled its purpose. And now it's kind of time to wrap it all up and put it all away. Um, for some of you, this is a project that will come out again later on at an appropriate time in the future. For others of you, this is just a one-time deal and now you're done. It's time to, to tie up all the loose ends and put this project away. Uh, for some of you, I feel like you're going to be actually retiring from your work, maybe what we're talking about. Um, but here's the thing. The card came in in reverse. 
So whatever this project is that you're trying to tie up the loose ends and just be finished with it, you're not going to get all the loose ends tied up yet on Thursday. You're going to make some progress, but you won't be done. So I feel like there's still going to be more effort and energy putting into tying up those loose ends. So for those of you who are retiring, maybe, you know, you're cleaning out your area on Thursday, but everything's not really official till Friday. And then Friday they have the big farewell party for you and you're actually officially retired when you walk out of the building that day. Um, for those of you who are tying up loose ends on a project, kind of the similar situation, you know, you're just almost done taking care of everything, but not completely quite on Thursday. Um, what was the other thing I was getting, getting on that? <laughs> hmm. Bottom line was tying up a project that you're not completely done with. For some of you, it's going to be a repeat project. For some of you, not. Ooh, okay. So, okay, so for some of you, we're talking about retirement. For some of you, we're actually talking about moving. Isn't that interesting? And that actually shows up on the card for Friday. <laughs> hmm, maybe if I would look at these cards before I start reading them as a whole, <laughs> I might be able to go through this faster. <laughs> So anyway, tying up loose ends coming in on Thursday, not being completely done yet on Thursday, but making some good progress. Friday. <laughs> what I do have coming up is the Four of Swords in Reverse, which for me, I don't know if anybody else reads the card like this, but for me, this is talking about relocation. So this can be literally moving your home. This can also be uh, maybe taking your child to, child to daycare at a different location than usual, or maybe normally you work at the office, now you're working from home on Friday or vice versa. Um, but you're definitely, something is coming up as being in a different location than normal for you on Friday, Geminis. So definitely some kind of change of location going on there. And I'm feeling like this change of location is something that's very productive for you. It inspires you and it really helps you to kind of relax and to be able to do more than what you have been able to do lately. Okay. Now on Saturday we have the three of clubs in reverse. I feel like a lot of you are going to have come company on Saturday. Somebody coming to visit you on Saturday. I feel like they're going to be showing up for the weekend. They may show up Friday night or they may show up Saturday, but I do feel like you guys, a lot of you Geminis are going to be having company on Saturday. Uh, for some of you, this is long distance company. Um, for others of you, I don't feel like it's so much long distance, but it does feel like the ones that aren't long distance feel kind of surprising like some kind of surprise company, like you wouldn't really expect this person to come over and visit. So maybe you're going to hear from a neighbor that you don't talk to all that often, or maybe an old friend, but it seems like there's some kind of um, visit coming in on Saturday, possibly Friday night. And for some of you, it's going to be um, a complete surprise. Now, Sunday, Geminis, you have the Knight of Coins in reverse. Knight of Coins in Reverse just tells me that on Sunday you're not going to be being very diligent about your income. So if you're scheduled to work on Sunday, maybe you're calling in for work or maybe you're only working partial day. Uh, and then the other thing is that you can be spending money. You can be kind of blowing your budget on Thursday or on Sunday. So this would talk about either spending more than what you have budgeted to spend or um, not being too diligent about the income that you would normally create on Sunday. All right. So Gemini, that is your week. For those of you who would like to schedule a private session with me, feel free to check out my website. I'm at amista.info, A-M-I-S-T-A dot I-N-F-O. Once you've looked around there, if you still feel like I'm the best reader for you, go ahead and contact me and we will schedule a session for you as quickly as possible. And then for everybody else, I'll see you all here next week. Everyone have a great week. Peace out.